Great, so just find yourselves either sitting up or lying down. And just close the eyes. And as you close the eyes, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, filling up as much as you can, really letting the belly open and fill with your breath. And then sigh. Let it go. And again, just take your time nice and slow to draw the breath all the way down into the belly. Letting the belly open, letting the belly inflate, filling up. And letting go. And then just feel free to do that a couple more times in your own way, in your own time. If you need to do any gentle little movements as you take these really releasing breaths out of the mouth, helping you to just arrive into this moment here that we're sharing together. Please be my guest. And then when you've taken a few of those releasing breaths out of the mouth, just start to reseal the lips and direct your breath in and out through the nose. And as you start to breathe in this way, just really focus on the forehead softening, on the eyelids relaxing. Feel a sense of ease through the cheeks as you just let go of any tension through the jawline and the throat. Allow the tongue to just rest inside your mouth and let that whole feeling of peace and tranquility that you have created across the face start to make its way down through the neck, through the throat, releasing the shoulders away from the ears, allowing the arms to grow soft, and still the belly will rise and fall each time you breathe in and you breathe out. Let the hips relax, the legs, all the way down to the ankles and the toes. And on the next breath that you take, just see if you can hold the whole shape of your body in your awareness. So just picturing yourself either sitting up or laying down where you are in your space. And as you picture yourself here, know that there are 11 others of us all together this evening, practicing together, breathing together, and very soon moving together. So just keep letting go on that out breath. However you feel in this moment, know that it's completely okay. Whatever you bring with you to your mat this evening, we've got a whole hour together to work through that. And the start of the class is a really wonderful moment to set an intention if you like for your practice. It might be something as simple as offering it up to someone else that you know who is in need, someone that's suffering. Or indeed anything that you need to bring into your life right now. So if something speaks to you. And just take a hand onto your heart, maybe one or two. Lightly rest there. And you can either just say that intention in your mind or speak it out loud into the group. Or say the name of the person or the group of people that you are dedicating your practice to. So holding that in the awareness for one more really nice deep breath in all the way to the crown of the head, filling up. And letting it let go. Good. So we're just going to start to take a bit of a stretch of the arms. So if you're lying down on your backs, now's the time to also take this stretch, but let the legs open as well. And then give the knees a little hug in towards the belly and just shift yourself over so that you can come and lie and sit up rather um, in either a cross-legged position or a kneeling position. So ideally, we'll all come to meet in the kneeling position over the next few moments. Great. Cool. 
And once you've come to that kneeling position, just take a nice deep breath in, reaching the arms out and up, letting the chest open, really stretching them up, offering that gaze up, taking a nice deep breath in to lift up and open. And then we'll take the right hand down next to us and reach up and over through the left side. Good, and then passing back through centre, up and over. Left hand touches, right arm stretches up. Good, and then just keep that going. But as always, this is your practice. So if you want to start to add on, then you can. You might just let the chest start to dip down, coming through a bit of a child's pose. And then rotate up, maybe a hand comes behind and you lift up off the hips. So just take a few of these movements that help you to unwind from the day, whatever it's meant. Nice sunny day anyway down here for us by the sea. So we're sending some of that up to Nottingham anyway. Can you rich and tell you? I'm not sure what it was like up there, but sending some sunshine your way. So if you want to add on even more stretches, you might start to take one of the legs out as you lift up and open. So we'll just take a couple more of these each side, really focusing on the ribs, expanding the waist lengthening and then when you feel nice and even and you feel that you've opened the sides of the body enough we'll come back to the center and take a nice deep breath in to reach the arms up stretching up and this time we'll bend the elbows so we're going to start to open across the throat the heart and the chest so you can start to just lean back here roll the shoulders down taking a breath to lift up and as you breathe out, flip the backs of the hands forwards and roll the backs of the hands forwards, reaching forwards, chin in towards the chest. So we'll just do that three more times, but feel free to let the arms come into nice big juicy circles, rolling through the shoulders, opening the back. And on the out breath, draw the chin in, really rounding through. One more time, breathing in to open, throat opening, heart opening, expanding there. Beautiful guys, last time to reach forwards. And then we'll take a nice deep breath in, stretching the arms up, looking up. From here, hands coming forwards now, and we'll make our way onto all fours. Good, so when you get there onto all fours, just take a few little wheels, so you can start to circle a little through the hips. Get the neck and the head and the shoulders involved as well, just rolling through. Feel free to let the eyes close or keep the eyes open, whatever feels best for you. If you feel that you've got any tension through the wrists, then you can press the backs of the hands down into the mat and take a few circles over the wrists like that. If you're holding any tension through the neck, then just let the head gently roll. Good, and then we'll come back to a nice neutral spine with our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath the hips. Start to spread through the fingers, draw the belly button up to meet the back of the spine, pushing down through the palms, pushing down through the shins. And then as you breathe in, let the belly drop, roll the shoulders down, taking the chest forwards, really imagining the heart opening, the bottom lifting up. And on the out breath, chin tucks in towards the chest, pushing down with the palms, opening the back of the body, arcing the back of the body up to the ceiling. And again, see if you can connect now your breath with your movement. So on the in breath, pulling the chest forwards, rolling the shoulders down, opening the front of the body, and on the out breath, we focus on that opening through the back of the body, chin tucks in, pushing away with the palms, doming through the upper back. Lovely. So just one more time, feel free to add in a little wiggle. So if you like to take the spine in a bit more of a figure of eight motion, then you can. And then we'll come back to that neutral spine now and stay on so the hips stay above the knees, but start to stretch the hands forwards and either let the forehead land down onto the mat, keeping the hips above the knees, or allow the chin to come forwards. So you start to feel a really juicy stretch through the upper back, through the chest. As you begin to make your way down into your heart to earth pose. So let's see where we're at. Great, everyone. So you can choose as you get here, that's it, just like that, David, lovely, to either take the hands a little further away from one another, or you can take the hands closer together if you feel like you want to dive in a little deeper and just breathe into where you feel those sensations, upper back maybe, the armpits, the chest. Keep drawing the lower belly in and up. Good, we'll stay there with this for one more slow, gentle breath in through the nose. 
And as you breathe out, start to look forwards. See if you can just wrap the elbows in and start to take the chest forwards and down to the mat, letting the hips touch down, but just staying propped up on the forearms for a moment. Good, we'll take the elbows underneath the shoulders. Take the feet as wide as you like to, but start to push down through the tops of the feet. Squeeze the bum, roll the shoulders down, and then imagine that you're pulling the forearms back so that you can open the chest a little more. Good, one nice deep breath in here. And breathing out to release. Chest coming down to the mat now. Push up onto the knees, tuck the toes underneath you, and then start to make your way into your downward facing dog, taking the hands a little further forwards, Spreading through the fingers and letting the hips lift all the way up and back. When you get here, you can take a few little pedals through the feet, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, sway the hips gently from side to side, pick up the feet, circle the ankles, give the head a little bit of a shake. Great, nodding the head yes, shaking it no. Just loosening and letting go of any tension that you feel in any single part of the body. Wonderful, everyone. And then we'll find a little bit of stillness in our downward facing dog. So just checking in with the hands. Hands are about shoulders width apart and the feet are about hips width apart. That's lovely, Rich. Really using that space between thumb and index finger to root down there and then imagine or feel as though you're pushing the ground forwards and down away from you so you can lift the hips up a little higher. And then draw the belly and the ribs in and up. Feet are about hips width apart. Use the big toes especially to root down and see how it feels to press the heels down. But then if you lose that length through the spine, just take a light bend through the knees and let the heels lift up. Great. Good. So we'll take a few vinyasas now together, everyone. So as you breathe in through the nose, we'll ripple up and over, landing in a high plank with the shoulders over the wrists. Let's reach the crown of the head forwards and pull the shoulders down. Press back through the heels and then draw the belly up. And if you feel like you're sagging, really push away, roll the shoulders down and imagine that you're tucking the hips underneath you to squeeze the belly in a little more. Taking one more breath here and then knees come down, untuck the toes, elbows in and back, take the chest all the way down with control in one straight line. Great, as you breathe in, push down through the hip bones and the tops of the feet, but imagine that you're pulling back with the hands as you lift up the chest Baby cobra, shoulders down, good. From here, chest comes back down. Push up onto the knees, tuck the toes, and hips up, downward facing dog. Letting the head relax, letting the neck relax. Great, so we'll go again. Breathe in through the nose, ripple up and over, high plank, shoulders over wrists. Draw the belly in, really stretch the crown forwards, heels press back. Then slowly the knees come down. This time you might look forwards and take the chest and the chin down at the same time. From there, you can straighten the legs back behind you, lower the hips, lifting the chest up, cobra, and then pushing up onto the knees, tuck the toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Good, so just taking one or two more in your own time. I'll take one more in case anyone needs a little bit of reminder. If it's been a while, you can roll through one more with me, with me if you like. So from down dog, we go to high plank. Really tracking that movement of the breath, working its way up through the spine, knees landing, toes untucked, elbows really graze the sides of the waist as you come down. Slow, steady breath in, feeling the throat opening, feeling the heart opening. As you then push up onto the knees, tuck the toes, draw the belly in and up, hips nice and high, downward facing dog. Excellent. Oh, it's getting serious now, Hannah. <laughs> Jumper's coming off. <laughs> All right, so let's start to get into a little bit of a flow together now. Wonderful, guys. So as you get back to your down dog, and yes, Hilary, jump us off. So we'll push down through that left heel now and start to reach the right leg up. So really kicking out through that right heel. See if you can create a nice long line all the way up the right side of the body so the hips stay nice and square, and you keep pushing away evenly with both of the hands. Taking one more breath in there. And as you breathe out, start to draw the right knee forwards and then step the right foot forwards in between the hands at the top of the mat. Good, when you get here, take a few little rocks front and mat. You can have that back knee up or down. Might take a few little circles into the hips, any little wiggles that feel really nice for you. And then we'll find stillness, let the back knee come down. 
untuck the toes and just check that front knees on top of the front ankle take the hands down to the mat and just really release the weight of the head down for a moment open through the back of the neck really surrender the weight of the head and the next breath in we'll push down through the sole of the right foot and the top of the left foot to lift up the arms coming into our low lunge great lots of animals bumbling around <laughs> So let's take a nice deep breath in to really stretch up, lifting the chest up, opening the gaze, opening the throat. And as you breathe out, take a little cactus for the arms, or if you've got the room, just stretch the arms nice and wide. So you feel that pull across the chest. Good, so we'll start to flow from here. So as we breathe in the arms, draw a little further back, we might lean back. And on the out breath, just like before, press the backs of the hands forwards and rounding through chin to chest. So just keep that going, but just really make these movements your own if you like, so you can get really big circles going with the arms. Or maybe you like that cactus shape, in which case you could keep that drawing forwards. You might get the hips involved as well, starting to sink into that left hip flexor as you draw forwards. And on the out breath, pulling the belly in to round. Lovely Hilary. So we'll just take one more opening the front of the body. And then reach forwards, press the backs of the hands together. As from here, we flip the palms and reach the palms up, crossing the thumbs, creating a nice strong grip. Squeezing the biceps towards the ears. Good, taking a nice deep breath in to lift up and reach up. Chest maybe comes back. And then we'll release the hands to the top of the mat. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Take a little wiggle front and back. And then step the left foot to the front of the mat next to the right foot. Good, as you get here, bend the knees, press the hips back, reach the arms back, and then we'll lift up the arms coming to our chair pose. Great, see so if you can really draw the lower belly in and up, and then roll down through the lower back, so you open up that energetic gateway to the body, starting to draw some goodness in here. Taking a breath, arms reach up, and on the out breath, press the belly onto the thighs, sweep the arms back, but keep the legs super strong. One more time like that, breathing up to lift up. Up breath release, good, last time arms reach up and as we now come to stand we'll take the hands into prayer and straighten the legs, pressing the thumbs into the third eye, lifting up the front of the body, pushing down through the feet, taking a breath to really stretch up and then take the arms away from one another, feel that stretch across the throat, the heart, the chest. Good, to release hands, come back into prayer, and we fold all the way down. Release the hands down to the mat, looking back between the legs for a moment, the neck is relaxed. And then we'll breathe in, create a flat back, so the belly pulls in and up, the fingertips can come to the mat, shins or the thighs, and you really draw the crown of the head forwards. From here, bend both knees, press the hands down into your mat, step back into your high plank. Good, and then vinyasa from there, so knees landing. Untuck toes, this is just for anyone that wants to follow along, elbows in, chest down, drawing that breath in through the nose, but the legs stay strong, hip bones rooted, pushing up from there onto the knees, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog, how are we doing guys? Looks pretty good from where I, where I am, great Joe. thank you. <laughs> so we'll push down through the right heel now, <laughs> and reach up with the left leg, kicking out through that left heel. And just see if you can keep the shoulders nice and stable here. Keep pushing away evenly with both of the hands. Good, David. Taking one more breath to lift up. And then left knee and left foot. Draw forward and you land that left foot in between the hands at the top of the mat. Excellent. So any little wiggles front and back that you need to take. Just starting to massage through the sole of that left foot and the toes of the right foot as you rock front and back. And then we'll land the back knee, untuck the toes. Just again, checking in that left knee is on top of the left ankle. Use the hands to support you here as you just release the weight of the head. Feel free to give the head a little bit of a shake out if you need to. And then the next breath in through the nose that you take, push down through the sole of the left foot, the front of the right shin as you reach the arms up. Yeah, coming into low lunge, beautiful sight. Let's take a breath, stretching up, really opening, lifting, and then bend the elbows or reach the arms as wide as you like. So you can start to feel that really deep pull here, starting to open the body, feeling really free as you breathe in to reach back and open. And on the out breath, rolling forwards, chin to chest. So as we reach forwards here, we're opening the back of the body. So just keep that going. 
changing up the arms as you like to. Fireworks. <laughs> Rounding forwards. Let that breath really sync up with your movement so that as you do this, you're starting to realign the mind and the body and everything starts to feel a little calmer. So even though there's fireworks outside, inside, we are nice and steady. So one more time there to reach forwards. And then we'll press the palms together, cross the thumb. See if you can cross the other thumb if you remember. And then reach that grip up. So if you have super tight shoulders, this will probably feel pretty tricky. <laughs> Squeeze the biceps to the ears and then we'll draw the shoulders down. Taking a breath to stretch up, maybe lean back, open the front. And then arms reaching forwards either side of that left foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Taking a little rock front and back. And this time as you step forward, see if you can take the feet to about hips width apart. Bend the knees, thighs parallel, and then we'll reach the arms behind us and start to interlace the knuckles. So this is a bit of a bear squat, but as you get here, just take some light sways from side to side. Let the body just get into a little bit of a wiggle. Wow, that was pretty awesome, that one. <laughs> you can let the chest come down, but really focusing on opening the shoulders, so take one more breath in here, and as we breathe out, we'll release the arms, start to straighten the legs, and once more, tap the thumbs to that spot in between the eyebrows. Focus on pushing down through the feet as you lift the front of the body up, and you start to look up there, thumbs press, opening through the throat before you release the arms, take a deeper stretch, and then hands come back into prayer. As once more you fold all the way down, really creating this moving meditation, lovely hands coming down, releasing the neck. Next breath into a flat back, this time the arms reach back, palms face down, draw the belly in and then release, bend the knees, press the hands down to your mat, step back into your high plank and then your vinyasa. Well done, knees landing, untucking the toes, elbows in, take the chest down with control squeezing the bum, pulling the chest forwards, opening the throat as from here you push up onto the knees, tuck the toes and lift the hips up and back. Good, into your downward facing dog. Lovely everyone. So we'll get into a little bit of a deeper flow now. So as you get back to this down dog, let the eyes be still, spread the fingers and spread the toes. But we're going to take a breath in through the nose together as you lift both heels up. And as you breathe out through the mouth sharply, push the heels down. So, and again, breathe in through the nose, heels up. Breathe out, <sighs> heels down. Good, focus the eyes, let the eyes be still. And then we'll lift up with the right leg. This time, bend the right knee so that you can start to open through that hip. Feel free to move around gently with the right knee, just exploring the sensations there. Good, breathing into that right side. Excellent. Take one more breath to reach up with the right knee and open. And on the out breath, tap the right knee underneath the body towards the left elbow. Squeeze it there to tap. And then breathe in. Reach up, open. And again, right knee draws to the left elbow underneath the body, feeling that twist. Last time, stretch up, open. And this time, as you draw the right knee towards the left elbow, look to the left side and extend the right leg underneath the body. As you drop down through that left heel and reach the left arm up, pushing away with the right hand. So you can land that right foot onto the mat and push away with the knife edge of the right foot, letting the hips lift up, letting the chest open, or you can start to hover or hook that foot. But see if you can really focus on creating length along the left side. As you take one more breath to push away with that right hand, lovely Hillary, left arm reaches up and over to the top of the mat, Find the tiptoe of the left foot, reach the right toes back up, three-legged dog, and then as lightly as you can, draw that right foot forwards, stepping it forwards at the top of the mat. Yeah, we'll let the left knee come down, and next breath in, we'll sweep the arms up, coming through our low lunge, pressing the palms together, crossing the thumbs, reaching that grip up and back, and releasing hands come either side of the right foot, pushing away with the fingertips, keep the feet where they are, but just straighten the right leg and the left leg any amount. As you get to this position, see if you can suck the belly in and up and take the chest further over that right leg. Hands might come forwards and you push away with the fingertips, letting the head go, or reach the hands back and imagine that you're pulling the back of the mat gently to the front of the mat. 
to release tension in the upper back. See how we're doing. Everyone's looking good. Sweet. Great. Take one more breath there. Good. So to release from this, keep framing the right foot with both of the hands. So start to take the hands either side of that right foot. Stay on the tiptoe of the left foot. And we'll stretch the right foot up and back to three-legged dog, pointing the right toes. So different option for your vinyasa incoming. So rippling up and over three-legged plank. And you can flow from there or let the left knee come down, untuck the toes, keep that right leg high as you take the chest down, working through the right glute, the right thigh, and then lifting the chest up with control before you push away with the hands, come onto the knees, tuck the toes, hips up, downward facing dog. Excellent. Alrighty team, let's go for the other side. So back to down dog. You've got it guys, coming back to that breath in and out through the nose and start to lift up the left leg. Bend the left knee this time, open through the hip. Where's Sally gone? So just roll around with that left leg. <laughs> She'll be back. Breathing into that left side, taking one more breath to lift a little higher. And then left knee taps right elbow underneath the body and you feel that twist there. Good, stretch it up, nice one Joe. And again, left knee to right elbow, draw it underneath you, squeeze. Good, stretch it up. Last time, left knee to right elbow, hold it there. And then extend that left leg underneath the body, reaching the right arm up. Good, push away with that left hand if you can. That's beautiful, David. Let the foot land if you need to, to give you more stability. But lift the hips as high as you can. Great, Hilary, before you stretch up and over, right hand to the top of the mat. Draw the left leg back up, three-legged dog. And then lightly step the left foot forward in between the hands. Wonderful, drop that right knee down and then sweep the arms forward through and up, low lunge, hands in prayer, cross the thumbs, lift the chest up, arch back, before you release the hands either side of that left foot, chin to chest, straightening the left leg and the right leg any amount. Peel the chest up and over and then take the chest further down that left leg as either you stretch the hands forwards or stretch the hands back but really release any tension here that you might feel in the neck, the shoulders. Good, breathing there into the upper back for one more breath. Good, so hands now frame that left foot. Keep the left foot where it is, but reach the right toes up and back. Reach the left toes, sorry, up and back, three-legged dog. From here, ripple up and over three-legged plank. And either let that back knee come down or keep it there as you take the chest down and then rise through the chest, through your up dog, shoulders down, squeezing the bum, squeezing the thighs before you roll over the toes. Chin to chest, hips up, downward facing dog. Well done team. Okay, so we're gonna go through that again, add on a couple of postures at the end and then the flow is done. So let's do it. So let's find that breath, let's find that focus. Are you with me? Yes. Lifting up the right leg, good. Bend the right knee open through the hip. From here, right knee taps left elbow underneath the body and you move straight away into your fallen triangle, lifting the left arm up and pushing away with that right hand. Good, left arm stretching up and overhead to the top of the mat. Land that left hand there and in your own time, draw the right foot forwards and step the right foot forwards in between the hands. Good, let the left knee land to the mat and then sweep the arms up, low lunge, hands in prayer, arch the chest back. Here, hands come either side of that right foot, chin to chest, moving the hips up, straightening that right leg any amount. We'll roll onto the right heel this time. And now as you roll forwards, flatten the right foot to the mat, bend the right knee, and drop that left heel down. So we'll from here, shuffle the right heel so that it lines up with the arch of the left foot, keep bending that right knee, and then we'll windmill up into our warrior two. So left arm followed by right arm, lifting us up. Good, so the right thigh comes parallel to the mat and we'll just hold it here for a few breaths. Really stretch the arms away from one another and drop the shoulders down. See if you can press down through the knife edge of that left foot and then squeeze the bum so the hips start to open. Right knee stays on top of the right ankle. You reach away and then fix the gaze over the middle finger of that right hand. Good, to go a little deeper from here, you might lift onto the right tiptoe, perhaps sink a little lower. Good, fix the gaze, one more breath. And now we'll reach the arms up as we breathe in to look up. 
And on the out breath, hands come down to interlace at the base of the spine. Start to draw the knuckles down, taking a breath in through the nose, just straightening that right leg for a moment, lifting up, arching back, opening through the throat. And on the out breath, re-bend that right knee and start to surrender the chest down inside that right thigh. So the forehead starts to reach down to the mat. You keep bending through that right knee and you start to lift the knuckles up overhead to open into the back. Good, humble warrior. So really surrender here. Keep bending through that right knee, but keep pushing away evenly through both of the feet. We'll stay there with this for one more breath. Good guys, so to release, just lifting up about halfway there. Lift up halfway and start to rotate the chest so that the chest comes over that right thigh, finding the tiptoe of the left foot. Stretch that grip back, take one more breath. And releasing, left hand comes underneath the left shoulder and reach the right arm up, taking an easy twist to the right. See if you can keep that right knee plugging into the center line of the body, press back through that left heel, take a breath, really open the chest, and then right hand comes to the top of the mat, set the right foot back, high plank, and vinyasa from there, knees landing, untuck the toes, elbows squeeze in as you lower the chest. Good, taking a fresh breath in to open the chest, shoulders down, and on the out breath, pushing the floor away, lifting the hips up, Downward facing dog, good, last bit on the left side, let's do it, let's breathe in to lift up that left leg, bend the left knee, open the hip. From here, left knee taps the right elbow underneath the body, and then you extend the left leg underneath the body to the right side, reaching the right arm up. Good, that's it, Sal, really use the whole sole of the right foot to help you stabilize there. Left arm reaches up and over now to the top of the mat, and however you need to, guide that left foot forward so that it lands in between the hands at the front of the mat. Good, right knee lands softly as you sweep the arms up, low lunge, press the palms, cross the thumbs, arch back, open the throat, and then hands come down to frame that left foot. Feet stay where they are, but you just draw the hips up and back, breathe into the back of that left leg, rolling onto the left heel. So the weight shifts forwards now as you bend that left knee, drop the right heel down, and then line up the left heel with the arch of the right foot. From here we'll wimble up into our warrior two. So right arm followed by left arm, pushing away with the feet to lift ourselves up. So when you get there, just check that left heel really lines up with the inner arch of that right foot, and then you press down through the outer edge of the right foot. Left knee on top of left ankle, arms reach away, shoulders nice and soft. And as you start to push the feet down, can you also at the same time draw up through the soles of the feet, a feeling of stability, a feeling of being grounded here, feeling super strong. These are really strong postures, so you guys are all doing great. Really engage the arms, and then focus the eyes. See if you can find that really calm place. Even though you're working hard, feeling super calm here, super strong, stretching the arms. Good, so lifting onto that left hip toe if you like. And then arms reach up, nice deep breath in, stretching up. Out breath, hands come down, interlace behind you. Press the knuckles down as you breathe in, left leg straightening, really arching back there, opening the front of the body. And to release, re-bend that left knee, taking the chest, the head, down inside that left leg. So really aiming one day for that left earlobe to reach the left ankle. And then pressing the hands up and overhead away from the bottom to open the shoulders. That's great, Hilary. Great, David. Really using the sole of that right foot if you can to ground you there. Awesome, guys. Good. So to come out, just lift up about halfway. So the chest and the forehead and the crown start to reach forwards. Knuckles press back. Find the tiptoe of that right foot. Really engage the length of the right leg for one more breath. Before you release, right hand underneath right shoulder. Left arm reaches up and you rotate the chest to the left side for your easy twist. Shoulders drawing down there away from the ears. Shoulders eventually in one line. Left knee stays on top of left ankle. Keep pushing the back of the right knee up and then release. That's lovely, Sal. Left hand comes down to the front of the mat, stepping back plank and vinyasa. Excellent stuff. So that out breath will hover you down. Nice deep breath in, open the chest. 
And as you breathe out, hips up. Downward facing dog, lovely. So let's come down for a rest, everyone. You're doing awesome. Fireworks have stopped now. You guys created some fireworks anyway. So just have a drink of water and then just your choice of rest. Either come down to child's pose if you like or come to sit back on the heels with the hands in the lap. But as soon as you've picked your position, just go straight there without question or wonder, knowing that it's the completely right choice for you because you picked it. Close the eyes. Hands, if you're sitting up, laying the hands somewhere in the lap maybe. But wherever you are with this, just take the focus. Take the awareness back inside to you. Notice here how you feel in this moment. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. And feel the beat of your heart. So you're creating here through the wonderful way in which you have connected your breath with your movement a body and a mind that start to work in perfect harmony with one another. So maybe now, maybe just maybe, you feel a little bit clearer, a little bit calmer. So we'll just sink down here for a couple more breaths. If you're in your child's pose, you may just imagine here that there are two Light hands just lightly pressing into the lower back, supporting you there, holding you steady. So breathe into those two hands. And if you are sitting up, the feeling of two hands lightly resting on top of the shoulders, helping you to soften, almost cheering you on letting you know that you are doing great. So we'll just take here one more sweet breath in through the nose, wherever you are. Let go of the sigh. And just in your own time, let the eyes start to open. We'll come back onto all fours and make our way back into downward facing dog. Luckily, there's still some time left, guys. So we'll come back to Downward Facing Dog, take a few little pedals through the feet, and then looking to the top of the mat, start to walk the feet forwards, so that eventually the feet come all the way forwards. You take the feet nice and wide, bend the knees, and just let the whole body there drape down over the legs. No tension through the neck, no tension through the shoulders, Feel free to sway over to the right, sway over to the left. Give the head a little bit of a shake. Maybe you hold opposite elbows. But knowing here that that part of the body, that energetic gateway in the lower back is really nice and open now. So whatever you need in this moment, choose to just draw it in there through the lower back, a feeling of peace maybe, stability. Take a couple of breaths here, either being still or taking a few little sways. Great. Okay, so from here we'll take the feet to hips width, excuse me, hips width apart. It's a beauty of no one being with you, for you guys at least, you can just make any sounds <laughs> that you like. Anyway, so the feet are hips width apart, we'll bend the knees. And start to take the hands under the feet. See if you can really take your time here to stretch the, toe, the fingers as far back to the heels as you can. And let the toes really come there onto the crease of the wrists. So doing that with both of the hands. And just keep the knees bending to start. Really take some time to spread the fingers. And see if you can almost like, when you know that thing where you clench your toes to push down if you've got the toes on the wrists. Really push the toes down into the wrists. Spread the fingers. Let the head go completely, no tension through the neck. And either just stay here, focusing on the hands, being massaged by the feet, 
or you can start to gently pull up through the legs. So begin to engage the thighs so the backs of the hamstrings can start to open. And then you may even start to pull the elbows out to the side and towards the back of the mat as you take the chest further forwards and down, letting the forehead go, letting the neck relax. Good, so we'll stay with this just for one more breath. Awesome stuff everyone, well done. And then we'll start to release. So just take your time now, letting the hands go, tucking the chin in towards the chest. And we'll start to roll all the way up through the spine. Eventually coming all the way up to stand. Nice and tall, rolling the shoulders up, rolling the shoulders down. We'll just come into our mountain pose here for a few moments. So arms down next to the body, palms nice and open. Feet can be together or a little apart. But really focus here on softening the shoulders. We'll just close the eyes. Coming into a feeling of being grounded, pushing down through that left foot and the right foot. And as you send those feet down into the air, imagine what you could draw up if only you imagined it through the sole of the left foot, through the sole of the right foot. The feeling of being supported, the most nurturing and powerful energy. Letting those feelings of goodness, of balance, of feeling steady and just completely open, clear to work its way up through your legs. Imagine that feeling rising up through the hips, coming into the belly and the ribs, feeding into the heart and the throat and the whole of the chest up the length of both of the arms as well, and eventually working through the throat, the insides of the head, all the way into the center of the brain, really massaging there into the brain, and eventually moving up through the crown of the head. So the whole body now starting to be filled with this beautiful feeling of feeling secure, feeling looked after and feeling really supported as you just stand here nice and tall for one more deep slow breath in through the nose and let it go with a sigh if you let the eyes open great everyone so we'll work through um, a balance now we'll go through our eagle balance together so we'll just start <clears throat> let me clear my throat by bringing the feet together and then take the hands to the hips just take a moment here to lift the chest and as you breathe out, bend the knees, start to press the hips back, spread through the toes Then we'll reach the arms up and take the right elbow underneath the left elbow. So you cross once at the elbows, palms out and then cross again at the wrist. So the thumbs face you and the baby fingers face away. If you need to, you can interlace the fingers, pull that grip down and start to lift the chest up. So right elbow under left elbow. Then we'll start to push down through the sole of that left foot, really feeling stable through that left side. Keep bending the knees nice and deeply, and then start to lift that right foot up. So you can stay on the tiptoes if you're new to this. If you feel ready to lift the right thigh up, take it over and press it on top of the left thigh, pointing the right toes, and eventually start to snake the right foot behind the back of the left ankle or calf muscle. As you sit the hips back and down, pull the elbows down, but then start to lift the chest up. Good, I'm just gonna see where we're at. How are we doing? Calorie view. Excellent, Hannah. I the tiger, Hillary, awesome. You got it guys, so keep the focus there. See if you can press the hips back and down. Good Joe. you've still got time, you've still got time. Let the chest lift up, but pull the shoulders down. Great, take there, one more breath, that's it Sal, you've got it. 
Awesome. And then start to lift up. Well done, Joe. Unravel the arms. Unravel the legs. Great stuff, everyone. Come back there to stand nice and tall. Arms down. Nice deep breath in. Let it go. Good. We're going to the other side now. So hands to hips. Bend the knees. Press the hips back. And then stretch the arms up. This time, left elbow comes underneath the right, crossing, wrapping, twisting, sinking down. Good, so really bend the knees there as much as you can. Don't be shy with the bend of the knees. And this time, we'll push down through the sole of the right foot. Come on, tiptoe the left foot, and in your own time, take the left thigh up, over and down, pointing the toes, snaking them behind the back of the ankle or calf as you really trust that standing thigh, see if you can sink the hips back and down. And if you've got that wrap of the foot, push the foot into the back of the right ankle or calf muscle so that you've got a little bit of traction there and you can start to lift the chest up. Great, good stuff. So just eventually start to point the toes where you want them to go in that general direction. Good, Hannah. Well done. Holding on, holding on. Yes, Sally. That's awesome. Staying there. And then release. Well done. Coming all the way up. Letting go of the arms. Letting go of the legs. Back to mountain pose. Nice deep breath in. And let it go. Great stuff, guys. So we're going to come to just stand up nice and tall now for a moment. Really bring the feet together. Take the arms down and then either keep the arms kind of there, you can take them to the, to the lower back, or you can even start to reach them a little wider, but we're just going to take a bit of a back bend together. So start to draw the chest up, knees can be soft, but really breathing in there, stretching up, feeling open, focusing on the front of the body opening. Just take a couple of breaths here, wherever you feel the sensation of opening, Breathe into it, let the throat stretch open, feel clear here. One more deep breath in. And then we'll come back to a nice straight spine, standing up nice and tall. From here, left arm starts to stretch up and we reach up and over to that right side. And then we'll switch it up over to the opposite side. So we'll just take a couple of these, working one side and then the other. Eyes can be open or eyes can be closed. Take one more each side. Really enjoying the sensation of the ribs and the waist expanding. And then we'll come back to our mountain pose, taking the feet a little wider and softening the, the arms down. So we'll just feel a sensation of real softness now through the palms and the fingers, the elbows, the wrists, as you soften the knees, just let the eyes land close for some breaths here. So we're just gonna start to work with our energy now. So seeing as you're all in your own space, this may feel different to when we're together, but one of the really beautiful things about being on our, in our own space is that it's just your precious energy that you're with even though we're connected through the shared time and space together. So we're all working together for the same purpose, but you are completely in your own power here. So as you breathe in, just start to raise the arms up, feeling all that's around there for you. Letting the arms be soft, letting the palms be open. Just noticing how it feels to raise the arms up, lightly reaching out to grasp the feelings of your pure and precious energy, reaching up to feel open, to be received. And as you breathe out, and lightly raining down in front of your body as you send that feeling inward to yourself as well as seed some down into the earth below for anyone that may need it right here and right now. So we'll just do this a couple more times, just in your own time. And 
some teachers say that when you do this you are connecting earth with all that lies above and beyond like the heavens the other realms and you're just letting your body be open acting a bit like a channel so maybe that resonates with you i'm not sure just the last one there in silence. Eventually hands coming down either onto the body or into prayer at the heart centre. Just let go of the weight of the head. And take a moment here to just give thanks for this moment that we're sharing together, even though we're not together in person, still very connected and very much together. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Letting go. As the eyes now come open. Good everyone. So we're going to come down now to the mats through a little bit of a fun balance. Balancing is always fun. So feet come into hips width apart and then you can choose the hands. They can either come to the hips, you can reach them forwards or you can take them on top of your head. But just lifting here as high on the tiptoes as you can. Trying to keep the heels nice and high and then starting to bend the knees. So coming down as slowly as you can, try to keep the spine straight. If you feel the heels drop, just pause, reset, re-rise the heels. Come a little lower. <laughs> I can't see anyone because I'm so blind, but I'm imagining that everyone's smiling in joy and happiness. <laughs> as we come down all the way, down, well done. And then taking the hands behind us, we'll stretch out the legs, give the legs a little bit of a wiggle and a little bit of a jiggle. Good, so just a couple of seated stretches and we'll lie down. So feet coming to hips width apart, we'll bend the knees, press the soles of the feet down and then hands coming behind us, pushing down through the palms. Just start to tuck the elbows in, push down through the feet and just feel that lift through the chest. Either keep the chin in, look up or look back and that might be enough for you. Or push away with the hands and the feet and lift the front of the body up for your reverse tabletop. Again, either keeping the chin in, starting to look up or starting to look back, but really feeling the sensations there through the shoulders, through the upper back. Great. Staying there for one more breath. And then coming all the way down. Super stuff. Well done, Rich. That looked great. So letting the bottom come down. Just give the knees a little hug in. Let go of the neck. Breathe into the back. And then release. Good. So one more. We'll stretch out the legs this time. Start by flexing the feet. And I'll just give a choice of either coming into your staff pose or your reverse uh, plank. So we'll start in our staff by just drawing those fleshy parts out and underway. Hands coming beside you, rolling the shoulders down, flexing the feet and just reaching the crown of the head up there. So lots happening here. You can stay here. Or if you want more, hands coming behind you, start to point the toes and then push away with the hands as you lift the front of the body up, root down through the big toes if you can, and either keep the chin in, look up or look back. One of the beautiful things about letting the head go is you can let the throat start to open. When you feel sensations through the throat, can feel as though maybe you're being stifled. So just breathing into the throat if that's opening for you there for one more breath and then come down. Lovely Mr. and Mrs. Ardis, great everyone. Coming down, give the knees a hug in, let the head go. Nice deep breath into the back of the body and then coming back. Good guys, so let's have a drink of water and then we'll come to lie down on our backs. For final relaxation, good stuff. So if you need to put any jumpers on or any socks or anything like that. And now's the time. But once you've had your drink, 
either flop straight down onto your back or take a nice slow controlled roll by bending the knees, reaching the arms forwards and starting to take the chest down with control. Good. So when you get down to your back, depending on what space you have around you, just take a nice stretch of the arms, stretch of the legs. And then hug the knees in towards the belly, give them a tight squeeze in. Little rock over to the right, little rock over to the left. And then we'll start to lift into our happy baby from here by reaching the hands down to the outsides of the feet. Hooking the elbows inside the knees if that's available to you. Pressing the feet out and up, drawing the knees down into the armpits and any little wiggles from right to left that feel good but really focus here on rolling the lower back down, rolling the shoulders down. If it's too much there, like that Sal, you can always, so that the head and the neck can stay relaxed, you can always grab the backs of the thighs like that so that the knees still start to come out. You can hold the calves so the back of the body can still relax and you can still send the breath into the hips if that's easier. So just taking a few breaths here in your happy baby. Great, and then we'll let that left leg completely relax down, but bend the right knee into the right shoulder and interlace 10 fingers on top of that right knee to pull it in towards the right shoulder. Taking a nice deep breath into that right hip, squeezing a little more, and then left hand guides the right leg across the body, coming into a twist. So right leg moving over to the left side, let that right arm reach out and let the gaze roll to the right. Lovely. So you can keep that right leg bent or start to straighten gently out through that right leg, kicking out through the right heel if you've got the space. Taking one more breath here. Lovely everyone. And then take your time to move back through centre. Give the right knee a hug in. Let the left knee join it for a moment. And then right leg completely relaxes down, but you squeeze that left knee out down around, avoiding the ribs on the left side, and then back in towards the left shoulder, gripping nice and tight and pulling on that left knee. Shoulders down, good one more breath in. And on the out breath, this time the right hand guides the left leg over the body, and you unravel the left arm and the gaze to the left side. Super stuff. Just breathe here, in through the nose and out through the nose. And then gently, carefully make your way back through centre. Give the knees one final squeeze in towards the tummy as well as any lasting bits of movement that feel good for you. And then we'll come to lie down on our backs for final relaxation. So do take some time as you get down here to make yourself comfy. Letting the arms open, letting the legs open as wide as you like to. And really feeling as though you've got lots of space to breathe here by drawing the shoulder blades a little further underneath you. And then opening the palms up if the arms are next to the body. That's lovely, Rich. Good. So if you haven't already, we'll let the eyes close. As we close the eyes, take a nice deep breath in. Fill up the belly with air. Breathe in, breathe in. Hold, if you can, at the top. And letting go. And again, one or two more times, just in your own time, in your own way. And then start to just let your breath return to a natural and normal rhythm in and out through the nose as you begin now to let the body go. Begin now to let the body surrender down into the earth below you. Knowing that
that exactly at this moment, right here and right now, as you start to relax and you start to soften, you begin to let the earth know that you are ready to be received. So can you imagine a feeling here of letting the fullness and the wholeness of you just relax and be held? Nothing for you to do other than simply let go. Allow the outer shape of you to start softening down into the earth. Let your bones start to feel heavy. But you're still breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. The belly rising and the belly falling over and over and over again. Can you feel the eyelids and the eyes to be soft? And those hands that supported you earlier, whether they were on the lower back or the shoulders, are now reaching down to lightly draw your shoulders down. So right here and right now, this is where you can choose to fully, fully surrender. Know that you are completely safe, you are watched over. Please take these moments everyone, they are all yours and I will let you know when it is time to come back. So just feeling free to stay here and switch off from here if that feels best for you. Or if you want to start bringing yourself back to the group, just take some moments here to lay one or two hands on top of the body and seal in your hard work and your practice this evening. Coming back to your intention whether that was to dedicate your class to someone or it was something else, just take a moment to come back to that here. Sending more love out to that person or just reconfirming that intention to yourself. And then start to bring some movement back into the body, gently rolling the head, flickering the fingers and the toes. giving the arms and the legs a little bit of a stretch. Hugging the knees in and then rolling over to land yourself on whichever shoulder chooses to greet you. And we'll take our time to come up to any final seat, not worrying about at all about where you land or how you're sitting. We'll just come together keeping the eyes bowed or closed. One final moment here, just closing this space together tonight. So we'll take a really gentle breath to stretch the arms up, allowing the body to feel really lifted here, feeling that support, knowing there's much support there for you as you reach up, 
all that lies above and beyond. And then on the out breath, hands lightly coming down into prayer in front of the heart center, bowing the head and starting to stream that love and respect and that gratitude inward to yourself this evening. And then finally taking the hands down onto the earth, bowing the body down to the earth, giving thanks to a beautiful planet for holding us. And as you lay your hands down, know that all of us are laying our hands down onto the earth at the same moment. So we feel that connection there with one another. And then in your own time, coming back to our group, To receive as always, whether it's from Zoom or in person, my love and my thanks to each and every one of you for joining and being with me and me with you through this next period. So always here to support one another, always here to support you and so grateful to each and every one of you. So please feel free to unmute yourselves if you like or if you want to be off, that's also fine. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. Thanks, Cheryl. See you soon. Yeah, see you Thank next you. time. See you Brilliant. next time, Thank lovely. You. Great to see you. Thank you, Katie. Thanks, Katie. We love you, Katie. Oh, yeah. You did you good so well. Bye, Hilary. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, David. Oh, well done, Rich and Sally. That was so awesome to have you both. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, we loved it. I'll see you soon. I'll see you again, I hope. Yes, definitely. <laughs> see you on Monday. This is the perk of lockdown, is that I get to do yoga with you again. I know. I missed it so much, Katie. I'm so rusty, but it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Rich is better than me, and he's never done it. <laughs> I was looking, Rich, you were doing so well. Your happy baby was, like, really good. It's my favourite one. Because you are just such a happy baby. <laughs> Oh, awesome, guys. You guys are okay? Is everyone else all right? Yeah, we're fine, thank you. My sister had her baby. Oh, what she had? Yeah, she had a little girl. Oh, what's her name? Um, Thea. So she had her last week. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, so we managed to go up there to see her, which was really lovely. Um, oh. And yeah, we're fine. Just getting on with it. How, how's Milo? He's good, yeah. Good. Sorry for the interruption. You did wake up once during the class. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought that might have been it. I think it's all the fireworks going off. Yeah, there's loads here as well. But Rex and Bonnie have been okay so far. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, it's so lovely to see you guys. We'll have to do a FaceTime with Ross as well. Yes. We'll into it again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, maybe this weekend if you're around. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're here all week. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll message you then. Yeah, let's do FaceTime. All right then. Okay, I'm going to go and eat some chocolate now and have some chamomile tea. Love you.